All right, guys, so we got some breaking news for you. Royal Caribbean has been the first cruise line to ban all Chinese nationals from every single one of their cruise ships. Man, it seems like this problem is just getting worse and worse by the minute. In today's video, I'm going to talk with you guys and let you know what's going on. Along with that, I'm going to tell you guys why I believe this is only the start of something bigger yet to come. In today's video, a ship life. Let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Let's go! Alright guys, so this shocking news comes after four passengers from Royal Caribbean's Anthem of the Seas, which is one of Royal Caribbean's largest ships by the way, and their Oasis class ships were hospitalized. Now apparently all four of the passengers happened to be Chinese nationals and were headed on a cruise from New Jersey to the Bahamas. Now in New Jersey, all four passengers were tested by the CDC looking for the sickness in question, and thankfully all of them came back negative. However, one of the passengers in particular came back with a positive result for the influenza A virus, which just happens to be a form of the flu. Now, even though all four passengers came back with negative results for the sickness in question, obviously it's still going to create some kind of paranoia, especially for the CDC. With that in mind, you guys have to understand that this is a very, very big and dangerous situation. Now, let's look at all the facts. So far, as of the recording of this video, over 600 people have already unfortunately lost their lives. Along with that, over 25 countries all over the world have been affected by this sickness in some way, shape, or form. Now with that in mind, Royal Caribbean has been the first cruise line to implement its health screening protocols. And they are as follows. I've written them down because they are very detailed, very specific as well, and I don't want to get them wrong. Also, I'm not a reporter, so I don't want people to think that I'm trying to twist and, and maneuver things in my way to make things sound as good or as bad as I want them to sound. Anyway, let's go ahead with these protocols. So, protocol number one, and again, this is for Royal Caribbean, not any of the cruise line, even though they may come with the same thing in some way, shape, or form as well. Number one, regardless of nationality, any guest or crew member traveling from, to, or through mainland China, Hong Kong or Macau in less than 15 days prior to their sailing will be unable to board any of the Royal Caribbean ships. Next, any guest or crew holding a Chinese, Hong Kong or Macau passport, regardless of when they were there last, will not be able to board any Royal Caribbean ship. Finally, any guest or crew member that has been in contact, which the CDC defines as 6 feet or 2 meters, with someone that has traveled from, to, or through mainland China, Hong Kong, or Macau in less than 15 days will not be allowed to board any of Royal Caribbean's ships. Wow. These protocols were implemented by Royal Caribbean after a Holland American ship carrying over 2,000 passengers was denied by four countries permission to dock for fear of the sickness spreading. Now guys, I gotta be real with you here. This is honestly starting to get pretty scary. I've been on ships when we've been quarantined, but I don't think we've ever really dealt with anything like this. Very few cruise lines have. This is a very, very large situation. Now, I just posted a video about whether I think people should be cruising or not. Honestly, this is one of those times where you need to reconsider if you guys have cruises set out, if you're even allowed to cruise in the first place right now. And by the way, I know this is extremely random, but we all know what's going to happen here, and I think I shouldn't have to mention it, but I kind of do. Guys, please don't treat every single Asian person like they are the walking death. I know in times like this it can be scary, but that's no reason for anybody to be racist or, or have any kind of remarks to somebody just because of their race or ethnicity or anything like that. Um, I feel like that's something that needs to be said. Even though I'm about ship life and stuff, I feel like even on the ship and even on land, uh, people are going to start acting a certain kind of way because of these rules being implemented. Because of course, this is a scary thing and it's going to go on a global scale. But uh, guys, I'm just doing what I can to, to keep you guys informed. Just please don't go out there and start hating on all the Asian people because you think that every single Asian person has a disease in question. That's just my two cents. But anyway, guys, let's get back to the episode. Now, guys, please keep in mind, just like I said in my last video, understand that I am not a reporter, nor am I a spokesman for cruise lines. So everything that I say is my personal opinion. You guys can take it how you want. Other than the protocols I listed because I got that straight from Royal Caribbean, everything is more so opinionated. And at the end of the day, that's just what it is. But personally, I think that right now is just not a good time to be cruising. You guys got to understand, I've, I've taken that, that route. 
my ship used to port in New York City. And this situation happened in New Jersey. My ship used to go to the Bahamas as well. That's about a three, three sea day uh, trip. Given that you don't stop somewhere like Port Canaveral or something like that, a lot can happen in three days when you're stuck on a cruise ship and nowhere to go. Like I say in my videos when it comes to being sick, something as small as even a common cold could potentially spread to the entire ship within a matter of days. Anyway guys, since this is breaking news, this is all the information that I have so far. Now given, of course, there is a ton of information going on about this sickness in particular and a ton of information going on about different cruise lines. However, I'm going to report on that next week unless something else breaking happens to come up like it did just now. Anyway guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Please understand again, it's my personal opinion and not all of the facts are out just yet. I'm just letting you guys know what has been happening so far so that everybody stays updated in the event that they just happen to be going on a ship tomorrow or they haven't heard anything or maybe they came from China maybe less than 15 days ago. I'm just trying to be as helpful as I can. But like I said guys, I'm going to go ahead and go. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Of course, make sure you like this video, share of course, and I hope everybody's doing well and stay safe out there. Until I make my next video, you guys take it easy.